Educational Television Programs Incorporated presents a proposal to disseminate empowering news and information to establish and maintain self-sufficiency for all Michigan residents. The great automotive companies of Michigan once provided us with an enviable living standard, but now we must reinvent ourselves for future prosperity. Thanks to the innovative legislations promoted by our Governor Jennifer Granholm, we have bills to re-educate the unemployed and underemployed. We have state agencies to develop new entrepreneurs and strengthen existing small businesses. Also, recently Governor Granholm signed a bill protecting low-income citizens from utility shutoffs. Under the new administration of Mayor Dave Bing, the City of Detroit is also reaching out to provide residents with information regarding available programs offered through the city. In recent years, there have been some progressive developments throughout Michigan. Downtown Detroit has become an exciting metropolis of casinos, restaurants, an enjoyable waterfront, and wonderful year-round activities. However, Beneath the glamorous makeover and excitement are the devastating realities of poverty, despair, and hopelessness. Michigan has one of the highest homeless and unemployment rates in the country. When temperatures get down to this degree, they should let at least people stand in the hallway out of the wind and the cold a little bit. NSO, that's what it stands for, standing outside. I'm here because I lost my job, and I don't have, I'm not going to get any more money. I, I can't keep cleaning enough to get a job. If there was a way if I could get information, I would really like it. It's like they don't volunteer it. You got to know what you're going after, what kind of services you want, you know, and, and that's that makes it difficult on the people. I think they could be a little bit more forthcoming with the information that would sure. benefit the homeless. Many of our poor are unable to access or operate a computer, therefore cannot take advantage of Michigan's award-winning website. I'm a 46-year-old black man that's been in the penitentiary for the last 17 years. I don't even know how to turn the internet on. As a result, those most in need are less likely to obtain vital resources and information. Information is the key to begin the process of transforming the lives of people who are low income, homeless, or undereducated. We're proposing that together we will develop and distribute informational DVDs in government offices throughout the state of Michigan. So they do have a 60 inch TV screen and no information, not even an info commercial. You understand? Where you can get a pair of socks. They show Bruce Lee and Superfly movies over and over and over. I've been here like four times, I'm just sitting doing nothing, and a lot of them, like I said, are standing. They don't even have enough seats in there for people. They could have a TV in there so we could be watching something to tell you some kind of information going through, like whatever I'm looking for, instead of me just sitting and waiting and not being served. I've been waiting here at this uh, Family Independence Agency with my niece to see her worker since 9 this morning and we still haven't got any help. It's been about four hours now. Um, she had a baby in November 13th and she still hasn't got any medical assistance for her baby. Um, hasn't been able to take her daughter to the doctors or anything. We went out here about 10 times to, um, to get her help and we still haven't gotten anywhere. Each time that we have um, came out here, the wait has been about four hours. The television should be on advertising programs that are helpful to people in need, and it hasn't been on the whole time that I have been here. The FIA, where I go on Jefferson, they don't have a TV to advertise any programs to help or assist us either. We are getting frustrated because we have no help. I am down here at the um, Family Independence um, Agency. I am unemployed and um, 
I'm a mother of a 13 year old and recently widowed um, a few weeks ago. And I, I don't know what to do, I don't know where to go. And I think that it would be helpful if they can give me that information, but right now I'm just sitting in there not knowing what to do or where to go. And so I've been here already for three hours and they told me that it would be an additional two hours before I get to see anyone. So um, it's, it's probably gonna be around six hours by the time I leave here. You know, since there is a television in there, in there, I think they should put it to use. They should turn it on and put some type of information on that television. Um, they can possibly, you know, tell us about things that are available to us. I'm sure there's all kinds of useful information that can be put on the television um, for me and other people who might be in my situation. We have been sitting here waiting hour after hour doing nothing. Um, that would be very helpful. Um, and then also it might keep down some of the <laughs> the anger and the tension that's in there. I really would, and I know everyone else in there, would really appreciate your help. The challenge for our state and local government is the daunting task of reaching these same people who are in desperate need of assistance, the assistance that is already available to them. All these people are interested in self-sufficiency. They want to get off the streets. There is hope. Change is possible. Monthly updated DVDs will include state news such as housing information, financial literacy, educational opportunities, entrepreneurial development, and resource information. It will only be through the decisive action of our government and community leaders to implement this important project expeditiously. Upon contract with the state of Michigan, Educational Television Programs Incorporated will develop, produce, and distribute informational DVDs to government offices where televisions are provided for client viewing. That would be a blessing. That's the number one necessity that would be needed in there. It would help these people improve their lives. They can help these people get off the street. We all must do our part to heal the people of this great state. Together, we will meet the needs of our Michigan residents in crisis. I need that information. Please contact us by phone or email. Thank you.